There's another surface. We'll talk about this. So this is a new wood grain cardstock. Wood grain cardstock is 111 pound white cardstock, textured on one side, smooth on the other. It's really great because you can do some very cool uh, wood grain effects by going over with paint and then going over with distressed ink. I apply the paint just using a brayer. Just taking a mini brayer and brayering right over the top of it. So let's go in with our paint. What color should I use? Let's do abandoned coal. Why not? I like pink today, huh? Did that in physics too. So here I'm going to take this, I'm just going to use the flip top, apply some paint to my craft sheet, just a couple of drops. Um, the flip tops, we went in um, last year, we introduced the flip top because I believe that um, as crafters, our styles, our use for products have evolved. When the paint dabbers first came out, I was using foam stamps and chipboard letters and I needed paint in a dabber, I thought it was convenient. People really didn't want to get messy. And I think now our styles and the way the industry embraces mixed media were taking paint and applying with baby wipes and all of those things. And I found that every time I picked up a paint, I was just dabbing it on my craft sheet to use it. I thought, you know what? We really can talk about this dabber. Re replacing the dabber with a flip top reduces the paint retail by over a dollar, which is huge. Um, just because of cap, it's the same size bottle. So we do sell the caps by themselves. You can buy them in a pack, I think, of five or a pack of 50. Um, so they're sold both ways. So you can replace them if you want to. But what they're trying out at this show is um, releasing the 12 colors we did last year as flip tops in a wrap. Just so stores can try it out to see if that's it. Because I'm trying to convince them like, we should just change them all over to flip top and sell replacement dabbers. That if they want to turn it into a dabber, let them buy that pack. Because it's bringing the price down by a buck a bottle. So why not do that? But the flip top, just so you can see, it's got that little notch in there, allows you to flip it up with one finger. It does have a spout there. I didn't have a flush lid like other craft paint, so you don't get that paint all the way around the lid. That spout allows it when I flip it over, I don't have paint pouring out. I have to squeeze the bottle, let go. It's got a plug in the lid that when I close it, it's going to make this airtight. So I don't have to worry about paint anywhere. So when you go in brayer paint, we're just gonna use the mini brayer. I'm just gonna roll the brayer through the paint. And I'm just letting the brayer roll. If I press down on my brayer, I'm just gonna push all the paint right off the brayer. Okay, so when you use this brayer, you always wanna just kinda of lightly let that kind of feel. This is kind of like a sports car. It is, like a little tiny sports car brayer. Yeah. And I'm just gonna add some of that paint. Now here I can clean off my brayer with a towel, you can go in with a baby wipe, whatever you want. If you're home or you're near a sink, you can just push this out and roll this under the faucet. I use these brayers all the time. Another cool thing, if you do a lot of stuff with jelly plates and you have paints or glues, and I think about our brayer, you can flip it over and it doesn't sit on the surface. So you can keep wet medium on there. All right, let me clean up this excess paint. Because I don't need it. And this just creates that resist for our wood grain. But you don't always have to create a resist. You can also go in with ink, ink blending tools, sprays, anything to create on that cardstock surface. Be sure to like our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Scrap Time Videos, to be the first to see the latest videos from CHA 2016.